All right, guys, two and a half years ago, I started this YouTube channel all about basically grass and lawn care, and it's grown a little bit, and it's going to continue to grow over the next handful of seasons. But one of my first themes on this channel was thatch. It was the description of thatch. I tried to explain what actual thatch was, contrary to popular belief and uh, the simplistic view of thatch that many people have. Real thatch is very different than old grass clippings accumulating on the ground. When I started this channel, I had a very bad thatch problem. And although I had a lot of people tell me that I should just kill my lawn, rip everything out and start over, I decided to take the long approach to just simply repair the problem. Two and a half years later, I wanna show you where we stand now, the last week that I live in this property. All right, let's quickly go over to where the worst of my thatch problem was two and a half years ago. Then I'm going to re-show you what thatch is because you can watch my old video, but I'm going to show you a brand new video. I'm going to do a little miniature what is thatch segment right here. And then I'm going to dig up and I'm going to show you where we stand. This is generally where I pulled the worst of my thatch out of the ground to show you in my video two and a half years ago. I got to come way over here now. It's right there. I got to come over here for one so you can have some perspective, but two to get out of the wind. Right about there was the worst of my thatch two and a half years ago. And instead of ripping everything out and starting over, I have used cultural practices and liquid applications to manage my thatch problem. But before I show you where we're at now, let me show you a brief segment from two and a half years ago so you can see how bad the problem was to begin with and my description of it at the time. The first plug that I pulled out of the lawn uh, was over in kind of the worst section of my yard for thatch. This is a good example. So deep down there's dirt, soil. On the top there's grass. Uh, inside the grass you can see well, not inside the grass, but under the grass, you can see that there is this material right here, which is neither dirt nor grass. The roots are in there. Basically, this is what thatch is. This is what thatch is in a bad, um, bad amount of it. Uh, lawns that are healthy tend to have far, far less of this. Now, when you step on it, if you get that squishy sensation that you're stepping on like a sponge in your lawn, it's because of the thatch. Look at that. It's like an accordion. It'll stretch up and down. And anyway, not to make the point too long, but when you water the grass or when rain comes and hits the grass, it will trickle down through the blades and it will go into this spongy area, um, which is mostly, contrary to popular belief, this is not dead grass clippings. There might be a little bit on top, and in some of my older videos, if you're a subscriber, you've probably watched them, uh, where I used a thatch rake on the top and I was pulling off um, stuff like this right there. Let's see, where's the... So right on the top, that's basically just dead grass clippings on the top. But everything underneath, this is basically organic matter that has not broken down. A lot of it is roots, a lot of it is stolons, rhizomes, um, some dead grass clippings that are just in there. Uh, basically, this material is supposed to break down, uh, decompose, and slowly become soil again. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the thatch layer, it kind of looks like it's transforming. The thing is, it's not transforming fast enough. Now, when you water this spongy, this spongy material, the water will literally stay in here just like a sponge, and it won't trickle down into the soil. So all of the grass growing on top, the roots, you want the roots to grow deep, that way you don't have to water as often. It's the whole concept of watering deeply and infrequently doesn't really work if the thatch layer is too great. You water really, really 
deeply and this thatch layer just absorbs it. This is a full inch thick, probably even more. Even if it's compressed, it's a solid inch thick. So when we talk about watering deep and putting an inch of water down on the soil, it's mostly getting absorbed and held in this thatch layer, just like a sponge would hold water on your kitchen counter. Everything down below doesn't really get very moist. So the root system for the grass stays in here. So when this dries out, the grass will slowly uh, start to die out as well. Basically, the, the roots of the grass can't go deep because all of the water is trapped in this spongy layer. All right, now having watched that segment of the video that I made two and a half years ago, which by the way is one of, I don't know, it's one of the videos that I've made on this channel that I'm most proud of. It was in the very, very beginning of the Turp Mechanic YouTube channel era. I had no idea what I was doing. I wasn't very good presenting anything, but that presentation, although it was slow and a little bit mundane the way I did it, really explained everything it explained everything so well that I don't even want to try to do it again. I'm going to link to the full version of that video down in the description below and probably at the end of this video too if you want to go take a look. But what I'm getting at in that video is that cultural practices, meaning watering for the most part and tending to the lawn in terms of mowing and fertilizing, um, that is what causes thatch. Now, it is very easy to create a bad thatch problem if you're putting down sod. So within a couple years after putting down sod, you might have a significantly bad thatch problem. And from even from seed, this can be a problem if you're watering the lawn, fertilizing, mowing it in properly. What happened with me and my lawn, as I demonstrated in that video, my thatch problem came from a sod installation that happened years before I started this YouTube channel. And that sod installation went in, irrigation system was set up for me by someone else, and that irrigation system was set up to basically create a thatch problem that I didn't even know was a thing at the time. In short, if you are watering very shallow, very often with a grass type that produces stolons and rhizomes, then those stolons and rhizomes are going to accumulate on the surface, especially if you're watering frequently enough to let your grass continue to grow, which is what I was doing back in 2017 and 2018, well before this channel was created and well before I knew a lot about lawn care. Watering shallow and infrequently is going to force the root systems to grow at the very, very surface level of your lawn. And if you got underground rhizomes, they're not going to go deep. They're going to be shallow rhizomes. If you're growing a grass type that has stolons, it's going to be right there on top. Many of those stolons are going to die off and get buried by grass clippings. And then you're going to have root systems and new stolons growing in this layer that's going to slowly grow over time. The way to build a thatch layer is to heavily fertilize and lightly water. If you are lightly watering a lot frequently and you're fertilizing the lawn, then that grass is going to be growing and the uppermost, let's call it half inch of your soil uh, layer is the only part that's going to be wet, then roots are never going to want to go deep. Rhizomes are never going to want to go deep. As the stolons uh, die off and get replaced by new stolons throughout the regular growing season, things are going to accumulate on top and that thatch layer will grow. Now here on my lawn, since I made that video two and a half years ago, in July of 2020, and even a little bit before that, I changed my watering and fertilization practices. I switched to a slow fertilization program so that I don't have excessive growth. And I also switched heavily into a every so often watering plan. And the way that I call it is once a week, one inch of water. So in the spring and the fall, it kind of averages out. In the spring and the fall, it's more like once every nine days, I put one inch of water down 
all at once. And then during the summer, it's more like every four to five days, I put one inch of water down all at once. Over the course of the entire growing season, I only irrigate on average every seventh day for a full inch all at once. And that what that does is so much water goes down at once that it forces the water to go deep into the ground. And then over the next couple days, the uppermost level of your soil and your thatch layer dries out. So if your grass wants water, it has to grow its roots deep into the soil below the thatch layer. Now you still have to keep the thatch layer a little bit moist, regular enough for bacteria to decompose the thatch layer and slowly reassimilate it back into the soil profile. And that's why I've had other videos on this channel about how to remediate thatch problems, where you're putting down molasses, you're putting down yeast. These are basically compost starters. So I've got a garden over there and we have compost bins and we have compost piles up the hill. If you want to start the composting process, you need to get the bacteria into an environment where it's capable, not bacteria, but the microorganisms into an environment where it's capable of looking at organic dead matter and breaking it down and reassimilating it back into the soil profile. And that's what I've been doing for a couple years. For more than a couple years, I have been applying products, sprayable products that go onto the lawn. These products I've used multiple different brands and I have an entire video where I showed exactly how I make my own from scratch. I guess it's kind of from scratch. I actually went off to the grocery store and purchased molasses and yeast as if I was gonna like bake bread. I went off into my living room and I grabbed my fish tank and siphoned out some of the water because it's got nitrogen in it. And I mixed up my own little batch of this stuff. Link in the description below if you wanna watch my DIY video. But there are easier methods where you can just go off to uh, the internet store, or if you have a well-stocked gardening store, you can buy stuff like this right off of the shelf. It's basically food for the microorganisms in the lawn. And when you support the microorganism population in your lawn, when you're applying fertilizers to the lawn that don't kill those things off, and when you're not applying herbicides that also kill off microorganisms, you're gonna have a flourishing ecosystem in your lawn that is going to break down thatch and going to break down dead rhizomes and going to break down dead stolons and going to break down dead grass clippings and anything else that gets deposited on the lawn. It will break it down efficiently and quickly. And that's what I've been doing for a couple years. For the first year and a half, almost two years, I applied very specific uh, thatch busting, thatch decomposing products, liquid products onto the lawn. And for the past roughly six months or so, I have really just gone into a mode of irrigating very infrequently, fertilizing just enough to keep everything going very well, but not over fertilizing for growth. And here's the kicker. I have not checked my thatch level. Like it used to be like an inch and change thick right here. <laughs> and I can't prove this to you. I can't prove this to you. You just have to trust me. Uh, don't trust everything you see on the internet, but I don't know. You're just going to have to trust me. Uh, I haven't checked. I have no idea how thick this level is. You see this right here? I got a little camera set up right there. Or not a camera. It's a tripod. The camera I'm holding right now, I'm going to stick on that tripod. And for the first time in more than 12 months, I'm going to go ahead and grab the shovel right there. There it is. I usually use a special uh, plugger tool to pull out uh, plugs so I can check thatch and other things in the soil, pull out soil probes and, I don't know, chunks of dirt, whatever it is that I want to do. Um, but right now, I'm just going to use a shovel. You don't need anything fancy. I'm going to put the camera there. I'm going to grab that shovel. And I'm going to dig a hole in my lawn right now. And for the first time in more than a year, I'm going to show you exactly how much thatch is there compared to two and a half years ago. And I believe it's going to be significantly better. All right, here we go. <laughs> what is this? All right, before, 
before I analyze the Fed. What the heck is that? It's a bouncy ball. <laughs> Who knew that that was there? Crazy kids of mine. Uh, okay, a bouncy ball. Anyway, here's my thatch level. I'm going to... Oh, I was kicking the camera here. It's so unprofessional. So here's my thatch layer. This is kind of what you saw a couple years ago. This fiber here, let me figure it out here. This fibrous area right here. And what's interesting to me, I'm going to pull back so I can see the camera while I'm filming. But we've got a fibrous area right here. And then we've got some soil up here like this is like dirt and we can go around and we can see still we're seeing fibrous but there's like literally chunks of dirt in there and if I do this remember I did this two and a half years ago I just showed it in the segment the whole thing was squishy this is like there's a small layer right about in there that is still a little bit spongy but we've got soil mix and i'm going to crumple it apart here and i'm going to have to put a lot of this dirt back in my hole over there but there's a worm look i got a worm in there i think i might have just broke them in half but i have roots going way down drop the dirt but i got roots going way down here below that spongy area I'm just going to make a mess on the ground. I'll clean it up later. Let me just crumple this apart. Remember, this year, 2022, I've this has been the year where I've been attempting to water my lawn as little as possible uh, because of drought. We don't have restrictions here, but I am, like, I understand the situation that's going on. But anyway, we've got roots everywhere coming down. And this is just barely spongy at all. So, I don't know. It's the same spot in the lawn. Like, it's literally the same spot in the lawn. But the thatch, although you can see this fibrous layer is still there, you can also tell that it is way, way more soil-like than it was two and a half years ago before I changed the way that I dealt with my lawn. Of course, I documented what I did here on this channel. I'm gonna leave this here. This is literally, I understand that this is kind of a rustic looking video. This is literally the last video that I'm ever filming at this house. I'm moving away in like, what is it, four days? I got a moving truck here in two days. So I don't really have the means to make this a super duper fancy video but I want to document the main thing that, that started this channel off, thatch remediation, thatch repair. Uh, what is thatch? Most people don't really understand what thatch is. I don't care. I never have. Two and a half years ago, I said it. This stuff, like dead grass material that's on the top, electric thatchers, they pull this stuff off. That's not thatch. Thatch is the fibers from the organic matter that die, not the grass blades, not the blades, but the actual stems, crowns, rhizomes, stolons that get matted up and they hold on to moisture and nutrients and force new grass systems to grow in that tiny little layer. And as they grow in that tiny little layer, that layer grows thicker and thicker and thicker, and your grass becomes more and more weak and more and more susceptible to problems of many different kinds in the future. If you treat your soil properly, if you irrigate properly, mow and fertilize properly, you can repair thatch without taking extreme actions. You don't have to kill off your lawn and grow it again from scratch. This is very, very manageable over time basic lawn maintenance i've got my thatch video series it's a playlist link down in the description below i hope that you take a look at it and here i'm going to move off to the side because i'm going to stick it up here this is the original what is thatch video it is slow i talk slow i'm very new 
to making videos in this video, but I'm more proud of this video than just about anything I've made to date on YouTube. So go ahead and take a look at that. Give it, give it your time and consider the implications that come with the way that you tend to your lawn. We're not talking about what products you put down all the time. Sometimes we're literally just talking about how you water, how you fertilize, not what you fertilize with, or what products you like to use. It's how you do it. Please leave comments down below, questions down below. I'll get to as many of them as I possibly can. And in the future, I don't ever expect to have a thatch problem. So hopefully I'll never have to fix a thatch problem ever again. But I want you to know that it's possible and that you can do it very easily if you give it enough time and effort.